Welcome back to TD Place Serena, where the Ottawa 67s are down by one. 3-2 for the Niagara Ice Dogs, and it is a special, special day today. It is an alumni day. It's a throwback Saturday, and uh, a big part of alumni is uh, standing right beside me. Brian, the killer, Killray, it is a pleasure to have you standing beside me. This must mean a lot to you. You've been part of this organization forever, and now here you are being honored. How does it feel today? Well, it wasn't me that was honored. It was uh, the players that made it possible. I was with them, so... Uh, I think it's great. I was glad to see the crowd uh, respecting the players, and I'm just hoping that the, our team uh, can pick this one out. Now, I want to go over your it, very long, colorful, amazing career, and something that I heard, and I don't know if it's true or not, when you were playing in L.A. for the expansion team, is it true that you wanted to be traded or at least put down to the minors because you thought it was too hot in L.A.? It's a true story. Uh, I asked to be sent back. Uh, not many people in the National League want to go down, but I did. I asked to go back to Springfield. My mom and dad were east. They were both elderly. They were both not great health, and uh, I wanted to be closer, but it was too hot in Los Angeles. I had Actually, I had trouble breathing. I said, I'm not having fun out here, and I always thought that you had to have fun as well as hockey, so uh, they did. They let me go back to Springfield. They were probably happy I went back to. I would imagine. Spoken like a true Canadian, you just wanted the colder weather. Um, when you were an assistant coach in uh, for the New York Islanders, it's interesting because you're known as the killer, but there apparently you were known to be too nice to the players. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? I think that would surprise a lot of people. Well, they, they sort of wanted me to be um, something I wasn't. I, I was used to getting along with the players, but if I had something to say I would say it and um, anyway whatever reason being it, it didn't work but I was thankful I learned from Al Arbor and I knew I satisfied myself that I could coach in the National League and that's all I had to do so when they didn't pick up my option and I came back I was happy to come back and I came back refreshed and ready to go and some of our best years were from then on. Throughout all your years of coaching, it's extremely special for us, obviously, that you were the coach here for the Ottawa 67s, and you've coached so many players that have gone on to play in the NHL. What are some of your favorite players you've coached or some of your most memorable moments with any of those players? Well, there's too many players that I got close to, the mall, really, because even though somebody might not have been on the first line or uh, they weren't on the top four defense, they were still part of the team. So I just think I was lucky that I got along with them all. And there's so many players that I uh, respect for what they did for us and for the 67th and city of Ottawa. So for me to pick one, two, or three, I couldn't. But I know I was lucky in some of the assistant coaches that I had, as well as the scouts. And what would be your most memorable moment here in Ottawa? Well, that's an easy one because that's when we won the Memorial Cup in 99. And like I said, I, you know, I, was, I have a lot of highlights. Uh, the one, there's only one that will top the 99 Memorial Cup, and that was the Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, other than that, everything was Ottawa, and after that it was the Memorial Cup in Kitchener. But there's a lot of highlights with uh, different, different things in Ottawa that I'm very proud of. All right, well, thank you so much. I, I wish we had more time to talk. I feel even weird being able to just say Brian Kilray. I know you, Mr. Kilray. So thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the third period, and let's hope the 67s get one back. They've been playing a little bit better since uh, since last uh, Wednesday's game. Yeah. Exciting uh, shootout. I just hope they do, too, and by the way, I'm just Brian. Okay. It's, it still feels weird to me. Well, here is just Brian, the killer, Kilray, whatever he wants to be called. Uh, let's quickly take a break. You're watching First Choice Haircutters, Ottawa 67's Hockey on Rogers TV. Hey,